Hey everyone, welcome back. It's time to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix mouse not working on a laptop in Windows 11. Recently, many users have complained that their mice are not working after updating to Windows 11. Whether you're using a modern Bluetooth mouse or a classy wired mouse, this detail guide has got you fully covered with a variety of workable solutions. On this very note, let's get started. First off, ensure that your mouse is not running low on power. If you're using a Bluetooth mouse, I would recommend you to ensure that your mouse is not running low on power. So plug your mouse into a power source and allow it to get fully charged. And once the mouse has been juiced up, check if it has begun to work as usual. Then I would recommend you to make sure to check the physical connection if using a wired mouse. Are you using a wired mouse if the answer is yes? Then be sure to check if it is securely plugged into the USB port of your computer or notebook. To ward off any port issues, try connecting the wired mouse to different USB ports. Then I would recommend you to restart your Windows device. A quick restart has a knack for fixing miscellaneous system issues or even resetting a malfunctioning driver. Therefore, I will recommend you to give it a chance as well. Next up, I will recommend you to disable enable Bluetooth on your Windows device because it is pretty handy in fixing the mouse related problems. To do so, you just have to hit the start button and then choose the settings app. After that, select Bluetooth and devices in the left sidebar and then you have to turn off the toggle right next to Bluetooth. After that, you have to restart your device and then turn the Bluetooth toggle back on. After that, I would suggest you to adjust the speed of your mouse. If your mouse feels sluggish or moves rather slowly, adjusting its speed may work in getting rid of the problem. To do so, just head into the start button and then choose the settings app. After that, select Bluetooth and devices option and then you have to select the mouse option. And then you have to head over to the mouse speed section and drag the slider left or right to perfectly fine tune the speed of your mouse. After that, I would suggest you to repair the mouse with your Windows device. So if your connected mouse continue to malfunction, it would be better to repair it with your Windows device. To do so, just navigate to the start button and then choose the settings app. After that, select Bluetooth and devices option in the left sidebar. And then select your mouse from the prayer devices list and hit the remove device option. And then you have to restart your computer and reconnect the Bluetooth mouse by clicking on add device option. And now is the right time to update the mouse drivers. If your laptop is equipped with outdated or corrupted mouse drivers, it might very well be causing the problem. To do so, just press the Windows plus X keys and then select the device manager option. And then look for the mice and other pointing devices option and hit the tiny downward arrow to the left to expand it. And then you have to right click on your mouse and hit the update driver option and allow Windows to find the latest drivers and update them. And when prompted, make sure to restart your computer. However, if updating doesn't resolve the mouse problem, try reinstalling the mouse drivers. To get it done, press the Windows plus X keys and then select device manager option. And then you have to select mice and other pointing devices option and expand it. And then you have to right click on your mouse and hit the uninstall driver option. And then you have to restart your device. Windows will reinstall the latest mouse drivers automatically so you don't have to worry about anything at all. After that, I will recommend you to update your Windows device. If your connected mouse remains dysfunctional, it would be better to go for the software update because I suspect that a software bug might be causing the problem. To do so, just hit the start button and then choose the settings app. After that, select Windows Update option and then you have to download and install the latest Windows update. Next up, I will suggest you to disable the USB selective suspend. In some rare cases, Windows power saving settings also tend to prevent USB devices from working properly. Therefore, it would be apt to disable the USB selective suspend to check if it resolves the problem. To get it done, you have to press the Windows plus S keys and then type control panel and launch it. And then dive into the hardware and sound section and choose power options. And then choose change plan settings that shows next to your active power plan and hit change advanced power settings. Next up, you have to expand USB settings and set the USB selective suspend to disabled. 
After that, click on Apply and hit OK and that's about it. And finally, I will recommend you to run the Windows Troubleshooter on your device. Windows Troubleshooter is highly effective in getting to the root of a problem and also offering a quick way to fix it. Therefore, I will recommend you to give it a go as well. To do so, just hit the Start button and then choose the Settings tab. After that, select the System tab in the left sidebar and then choose the Troubleshoot option. And after that, select other troubleshooters option. And now you have to scroll down to the Bluetooth section if you are using a wireless mouse or hardware and devices section if you are using a wired mouse and run the troubleshooter. After that, you have to follow the instructions to fix the mouse and that's pretty much it. I hope your mouse has come back on track and so has the smooth navigation on your Windows device. Now let your invaluable feedback come across via the comment section and the solution that has worked in your favor. And I'll catch you up in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a good time. Bye bye.